After a 10 month investigation into the Oklahoma State football program, Sports Illustrated is releasing their widespread findings. And here to discuss the investigation is the executive editor of SI.com, BJ Schechter, and also our senior writer, George Dorman. Now we've seen a little of the story. We've heard some of the things that were going on at Oklahoma State in their football program. What will the fallout from this story be, George? Well, I think what we've seen so far is that, you know, Oklahoma State has been uh, pretty open about that they, that they believe some of what we've written and that they are planning on investigating it vigorously and, and trying to sort of get to the bottom of what was going on. So I think that's the first step. You know, obviously the NCAA, you know, will likely um, step in at some point and, and do their own uh, due diligence. Maggie, I think one of the most eye-opening things that uh, I saw in the reporting of this story um, came from a, a former assistant coach. When Thayer Evans uh, found him and uh, asked him about his time at Oklahoma State and what we found, he said, I knew this day was coming, and I guess today, it was, today is the day. It was only a matter of time. And from that, we knew what we found you know, was very solid and true and widespread. But that just took it to a whole new level, that it was rampant through, uh, through the program. And even when George and I went to Stillwater to present our findings to university officials, um, we, I got the sense that you know, they had an idea that you know, some of this was coming. They were surprised, I think, at the level um, you know, to which we found um, wrongdoing. But I, I didn't get the sense that they were that surprised that we found stuff. Lately, we've been hearing a lot about the NCAA or schools trying to figure out a way to pay big time college athletes. The first part of this series is all about money and players getting paid under the table by boosters in a variety of ways. Do you think the story, George, will help move that argument to pay players on top of their scholarship forward? Yeah, I mean, I think if you look at our story, one of the things we emphasize is that the players, most of the players who got money didn't spend it on, you know, jewelry or, you know, new rims for their car. They spent it on sort of what we would call everyday items, clothes, food, movie tickets, things like that. And, you know, in the larger conversation about college sports, that's really what, at the very least, we, you know, they're talking about providing athletes. I think we have to re-examine, you know, the whole system of college sports. I mean, specifically with, with college football, and you look at Oklahoma State and the revenue that the program generated, um, there's tremendous pressure to win. You're talking the multi-million dollar industry, uh, you know, stadium renovations, TV contracts, uh, coaches making millions of dollars. So with all that, there's a tremendous incentive and pressure to win. So, um, you know, you have to look at, you know, what goes into it. There's a, an incentive to, to cheat and to pay players. Um, if other, some schools may think of others are doing it, we should be doing it too. So we need to look at the whole system and find a more equitable way to, you know, to, to deal with it. If there is a school that wants to get into big time college athletics and wants to do it, by following the rules and in a clean way. Is that even possible in this day and age? I mean, I think it's possible if you have something special to sell. You know, we look at, you know, Stanford, for example, which is a school whose rise has sort of mirrored Oklahoma State's, right? And on one hand, you'll say, wow, there's nothing similar about those schools. And that's really the point. Stanford has something special to sell. The Stanford education, they're located in a beautiful place. Uh, you know, Oklahoma State doesn't have that to sell. They are in Stillwater. They're not Stanford. And so, you know, to, to make up the difference in some ways, you have to take these extreme measures. If you hope the story accomplishes one thing, what would it be, George? You know, just understand that your school probably isn't as clean as you want it to be, and so therefore, adjust your adulation accordingly. <laughs>